The new Miss America says it was her New York grit that helped her earn the crown on Sunday night. Nia Franklin originally hails from North Carolina, but she now lives in Brooklyn and represented New York in the competition. And what a voice she has. Entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon is here now with more. Sandy. Diana, two days after winning, Nia Franklin, who lives in Clinton Hill, says it hasn't quite sunk in just yet that she is the new Miss America. Nia told me her two roommates are super stoked, and both were there in Atlantic City on Sunday night to help her celebrate. Nia Franklin, New York, you are Miss America. She may have grown up in North Carolina, but the new Miss America says living in Brooklyn gave her an edge in this competition. Absolutely living here has given me even more of a grit and, and a, a sense of self and I'm really excited about that and I think that's what's going to help me have a wonderful year as Miss America. Mia Franklin is the first winner since former Miss America Gretchen Carlson took over leadership here and made big changes like eliminating the swimsuit competition. It was not really missed. I have to say during that week it was not even on my mind and that was a good thing. I was able to focus more on what I wanted the world to know. I wanted little girls to know, little boys to know that singing opera is cool. You don't have to be a nerd or it's not lame to sing or play classical music. And also I wanted to represent for African American women and men who um, some people see it as a stereotype that we don't sing classically. Last year's winner, Kara Munns, took her final walk just days after accusing Miss America's management of bullying her. Charges organizers insist are false. This is a new era. This is my year. And I can say that that hasn't happened to me. And I would hate for that to happen to anyone. But I'm just really excited about the, the fresh start and to really make the most of my year. For Nia, a visit to our studio is a pause for reflection. And I would walk past ABC all the time on, right here on Columbus. And now I'm actually inside the building. And I never really dreamed or thought that I would be inside. So it's, it's really, really crazy and surreal. Welcome. Nia Franklin's strength of character is found in what she did for her father. She donated stem cells from her body to help him fight cancer. That was five years ago. He's now cancer-free.